गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर लेक्चर फ्रॉम इको पॉइंट वी हैव लर्न व्हाट रैंक इज वी हैव लर्न व्हाट सॉल्यूशंस टू अ सेट ऑफ इक्वेशन मींस राइट सो रैंक इज द मैक्सिमम नंबर ऑफ लीनियरली इंडिपेंडेंट रोज और कॉलम राइट सो रैंक सॉल्यूशंस टू अ गिवन सिस्टम ऑफ इक्वेशंस कुड बी यूनिक इनफाइनाइटली मेनी और no solutions at all when there is no n tuple that can actually solve all the equations at the same time that is inconsistency in a system of equation now today i'm going to relate both the things how can we relate rank and solutions to a system of equations so suppose you have a system of equations say a augmented b right the general depiction for any system of equations now a augmented b consists of the coefficient matrix a so what we will consider separately is the coefficient matrix a and we can compare the ranks of the coefficient matrix a and the augmented matrix a augmented b in order to comment about the solution in order to comment on the type of solution the system of equation can have suppose we have n equations in n variables consider the coefficient matrix a and the augmented matrix a augmented b let's now consider the ranks of these two matrices and comment on the solutions well rank of a if say it is the full rank since it is an n cross n system suppose it's the full rank n now in case the rank of the augmented system is also full rank n that means that there is no situation of a zero row that is all the rows are linearly independent there is no dependency in this system so this is the situation where you will have a unique solution on the other hand now suppose the rank of the coefficient matrix is not full rank this time it is something which is less than n for figuring out what type of solution we have we will have to see the rank of the augmented matrix as well now let's try to understand the scenario with the help of a matrix but a general case so if the rank of this coefficient matrix a is less than n that means i do definitely have at least one zero row let me keep it in the bottom most so if i have one complete at least one zero row that means my number of linearly independent rows is less than n and that's why my rank is less than n now suppose the augmented system when you create an augmented system so you will have a b out here suppose that b is also zero suppose that b is also zero that means you have entire zero row even for the augmented system that means even the rank of the augmented is less than n and also observe if this is the only zero row in coefficient matrix and also in the augmented then the ranks are equal the ranks are equal if the rank is equal now mind you you can have more than one zero row okay this is just a general example that i'm giving you now the rows are the the number of linearly independent rows are equal here in augmented as well as the coefficient matrix this will lead to an infinitely many solutions now why will it lead to infinitely many solutions number 1 you have an entire zero row 
in the augmented system. That means your left hand side is zero and the right hand side is also zero, which means consistency. So definitely it's a consistent system of solution. If it's a, so definitely it's a consistent, so definitely it's a consistent system of equations. So therefore, you will have solutions since you have consistency. So what will happen is that you have actually infinitely many solutions. Now the third situation. The third situation, suppose again, what you have is rank of the coefficient matrix is less than n. Now rank of the coefficient matrix is less than n. Again, I'm going to pick up the same generalized example that I took. So what we have is, you must have understood by now that definitely for the coefficient matrix, at least one of the rows is zero and I've kept it at the bottom. Now, if this is the scenario, let's see the case that we can have for augmented matrix. For augmented matrix, you have a B and this time say this B is not equal to zero. The moment this B is not equal to zero, what's happening? Your left hand side, think in terms of equations, your left hand side turns out to be zero, but your right hand side is not equal to zero. And if that is the case, it calls for inconsistency, right? Can you see there's an inconsistency here because left hand side is zero, but right hand side is not. That is why this is the situation which is for no solution. But mind it here. Now, this is a possibility that rank of the, uh, the rank of the coefficient matrix is less than n. And the rank of this could be less than or equal to n. But the fact here will be that the rank of A will be lesser than the rank of augmented A. Because if it's a no solution, there is a scenario where left hand side is zero, but the right hand side is not zero in the augmented system. That's when you will actually have inconsistency, right? So your rank of coefficient matrix will be less than n, fine, but this could be less than or equal to n, but aug augmented matrix rank will always be higher in this case compared to the coefficient matrix rank. For part 2 and part 3, I have taken an example here. If you observe clearly, the left hand side of both the set of equations is actually the same and I have only changed the right hand side. So which means if I write it down in a matrix form, the left hand side of my equation will remain the same. So for x, I'm going to have 1 here, 2 here, 3 here. For y, 0 here, 1 here, 2 here. For z, 1 here, 3, 5. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to solve this set of equations, both the set of equations all together. So you have 1 here, 2 here, 4 here and the augmented side, the right hand side changes. Since the left hand side is exactly the same, so I'm going to treat them both. Since the left hand side for both the set of equations is exactly the same, I'm going to use the same row operations for the left hand side and right hand side is automatically generated, right? So I want to make these 2, 3, 2. I want to make these three numbers 0. How can I do that? To start with, R2 goes to R2 minus 2 R1 and R3 goes to R3 minus 3 R1. And that will leave us, and that will leave us with 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 2, no change there, 1, 1. Next, what I will try to do is, I will try to create a zero here. So for that, the operation will be R3 goes to R3 minus twice of R1. And the system of equations will look like the following. 
one zero zero as it is zero one zero this will give you one one zero this will give you so what you will observe is the left hand side of your augmented system is zero here in the last row and on the right hand side one zero one and two one zero what is this depicting for you in terms of solutions this was your first set of solutions and this was your second set of solutions so for the first set of solutions what are you getting you're getting a situation where your left hand side is zero and the right hand side is not equal to zero this calls for inconsistency the two sides are not equal that equation is not being satisfied right so that means for the first system we have no solution and on the other hand what's happening with the second system for the second system if you observe your last row which is see this is a reduced form okay we've used row operation and reduced the system now in this reduced system you are observing that the left hand side is zero and so is the right hand side so this is consistent your left hand side is equal to the right hand side so this is what consistency means the equation is actually getting satisfied but since it's not the full rank rank of your coefficient matrix is 2 rank of your augmented matrix is also 2 in this case in the second case when you have infinitely many solutions so here you have infinitely many solutions but the case of no solution can you observe yourself the rank of augmented is 3 on the other hand rank of a is 2 but rank of augmented a is 3 so the rank of augmented is greater than the rank of the coefficient matrix and that's what i wanted to pass on to you today thank you very much